What's up to my friends on YouTube and welcome back to another tutorial video. This time I'm going to be showing you how to create a QR code that doesn't expire directly from your iPhone. Now if you've been trying to do this, you know it might be kind of tough to do it from your iPhone and you think you need to go on some website. While it is true, this website makes it extremely easy to just create the QR code. Plus, also as a bonus, these things don't expire and you don't have to pay for an account or even create an account to make one. Most of them, you they expire or you have to create an account, and that's just frustrating to do. This just makes it nice and simple to create a QR code. And the link for the website, I will be linking at the top of the description, but it is QR code hyphen monkey.com it's a simple url to remember and you could just type that in even if you don't want to click it but as you can see i'm just typing in a page url for my instagram here and you could do whatever link you want and customize how it looks if you want a higher resolution image any colors or anything like that there's a couple of different customization options that you could search through but there it is you created the QR code once you entered the website in, and that website will forever be attached to this QR code. Well, hopefully forever, hopefully this website doesn't shut down or start randomly deleting QR codes, but for now, it has worked incredibly well for me, and none of my QR codes have expired that I've created, and it's been a couple years now, which is nice to know. And as the QR code is creating, they're obviously going to pitch their pro software to you, as you can see. Don't sign up for that. I mean, if you really want to, of course you can. It comes with some analytics and some other features. But overall, if you're just looking for some simple QR codes to create for a simple reason, QR Code Monkey is exactly what you want to go for. That's pretty much all I got for you on this video today. I know that was kind of short, but if you did have any questions or were confused about anything, drop a comment down below and I will be sure to help you out down there. Other than that, if you found this helpful today, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.